So we made this gate for uh, Scott to go and install later this week. It's a double drive, four foot gate for a customer. Um, I believe it's going over top of their drive. Basically just welded a couple of wheels that are meant to be bolted on to the bottom of a gate with a U-bolt. Um, but instead we decided to kind of chop up the corner of the gate and allow them to fit into the corner. Um, and so we've done that here today. Once they attach this, to the post, it should be able to swing uh, both directions fairly easily. It's got pretty good range of motion, so yeah, I think uh, I think it'll work out pretty good. I think it'll make the customer happy, and it'll be fairly easy to install. So uh, it's a win-win for everybody. This one will go this way. So I guess you just find it easier to just let the whole thing add that and then cut it off than to try to like... Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so <clears throat> we're cutting this out just so that when we weld it onto the gate, it will be a little more flush and it won't be sticking out one way or the other. And it was like this. You know? Yep. And that looks yep. stupid, so. Cut it out. Yeah, so I seem to cut more out of the pot. Exactly what Dan said. He said even on their even on their version of that, they still hold it. Yeah. No one does that. Right. right. They hold it, and he called it a pistol grip. Right. Which okay. kind of makes sense. Everyone holds it like that. So, so why would you need that? So we're wasting it? this space, right? right? So if we move it up, then yeah. one, it'll be it, it'll be more like what you'd hold in your hand anyway. Mm -hmm. Two, they can fit more on a sheet. Right. They'll nest to better. Even bring the cost down even more. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, they'll be a little thicker this way, right? So right. maybe that helps get them a little bit further I, back I, in the palm. I think it would. You know, but I, I don't think we'll be able to get to there just because right. that, that steel would be so thick. Right. But right. hopefully pushing them back in the palm would help. Mm -hmm. so, guys, Company Cam has an event coming up. Actually, it's three events, three one-day events, three different cities across the United States. They're calling it Blueprint. So this is an event for really contractors of any trades. It used to be kind of a roofing specific, but as we know, Company Cam is useful for a variety of trades, including fence. Just basically about implementing technology into your business, how to get traction with it, that sort of thing. Now, the most interesting thing is if you, we scroll down here to the keynote speaker, if you guys follow the channel, you recognize Sean Van Dyke, Great guy, we got two and a half hours of his time to talk just all things contractors. I wish I had more. This guy, he's an incredible guy to listen to. I hope I have the chance to attend uh, to be able to be a student uh, listening to him teach. For more information on the event, we've got a link in the description for you. Is this why Ozark Wireworks? Heck no, look at this. Ozark Wireworks wire is prestigious. This is not prestigious. Is that a word, prestigious? Okay, so the other wire was not working, so Matt got some better wire. Not only is it better, because it's Ozark Wireworks, but it's also gate wire, so I don't have to cut and knuckle it.
And that pretty much wraps up the gate. There we go, so now we have two. One on this side, the one we showed in the intro. Now it can swing out nice and smooth. We got the Ozark Wireworks wire on there, so that's cool. Nice sauce to finish these these ties here, but then uh, it's it's done.